Hi guys, this is Therese Honey on the harp. I have a quick video for you today, at least I hope it's a quick video, to demonstrate a left hand technique that is called slap bass. I first saw Deborah Henson Conant do this at the first folk harp conference I ever went to about 2,000 years ago. It was up in Vermont and um, she was uh, did a great performance and then she described some of her techniques at the workshops. And so it's called the slap bass. Um, and it's a thing we use in the left hand, mostly with octaves. When you first learn how to play the harp, when you first learn to play octaves, you're taught to play with your thumb and your fourth finger. And we play with our fingers pointed down, like this. Okay? But then when you get a little bit more advanced, um, and you're more comfortable with playing octaves that way, you learn to, when you're playing octaves down in the lower part of the harp, you do it with your fingers pointed up. This is especially useful for people who have small hands and it's a difficult stretch to reach out for that octave, especially in the low range of the harp. It's farther away from you, the strings are a little farther apart, and so you can, if you have smaller hands, you can rest your third and fourth finger on that lower string of the octave and you can actually use the third and fourth finger to help pluck the string. So if you, even if you don't get to do the slap bass yet, uh, you can start using this technique to grab your octaves. Now, um, when you get more advanced, it doesn't, it won't say necessarily in a, in a book of published harp music whether your fingers should be up or down. It's just, when you get advanced, you get in the habit, when you reach low on the harp, you do it with your fingers pointed up. And I, when I say pointed up, I don't mean like that. I just mean, like, as if you're going to shake somebody's hand with your left hand, okay? Like that. So, um, first off, you'll want to try to practice doing your octaves just like that, okay? Now, when you want to uh, uh, get used to doing the slap bass, it's called slap bass for a reason, because you have slap, okay? So, practice it like this. Okay, you want to hear the slap, so don't be, uh, don't be wimpy about it. So. So pluck, slap, pluck, slap, pluck, slap, pluck, slap, pluck. And when I go to slap it, I go immediately to the string that I'm going to pluck next. So I don't like pluck, slap, and then move to my next string. I go just straight to, I'm gonna just go down from G down to C, down to F, down to E, down to D, and down to C. Okay? So, uh, you've got to hear the slap. Don't, don't be wimpy with me. I'm going to play the B section of a tune called the Slipper Horn Pipe using that slap bass with octaves. <laughs> slap bass that uses that same octave but you break the octave into two. So you um, um, do it like this. So you're still placing the octave but you play your thumb first and the thumb happens on the weak beat with the fourth finger being on the strong beat. Now I'm going to play the first part of The King of the Pipers. if you were to play um, that five-part jig several times through with that slap bass throughout the entire thing. So um, I do like to have a variety of left-hand patterns and that is just one of them and I hope this gets you started learning how to play the slap bass both with straight octaves and both with a broken octave and um, 
uh, let me know what you think about this video and if you want any other videos on other subjects just leave me a comment I appreciate it thanks a lot